I hear you've been telling about how you killed all Jenkins, brothers, with one bullet, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Killed him with one bullet. Why don't you just pull your gun and shoot me? But of course, you won't need all of these. Just one, right? It only takes one bullet. One bullet. I tip my head to one legend to another. My eyes to me. In this video, I will be teaching you how to make After Effects like text on Filmora 14. I know this might have been a big problem for a lot, you guys, but the good news is that your problem is solved, and by the end of this video, you will know how to perfectly make AE like texts on Filmora 14 and be able to go viral with them in your edits. So, without wasting much time, let's hop in. I got us through it. Here's our clip. And we will first start by generating the auto caption by right-clicking on the clip and selecting the speech to text option. After making your custom adjustments, you hit Generate, then wait a few seconds for the caption to generate. Once the caption is generated, double-click on the text layer to open the text customization menu. Start by deleting the empty text layers. Then move the text layer to the center, change the text font to a Brima Negreta, and reduce the text size to 22. Next on the Subtitle tab, highlight each of the words and change them to capital letters. After doing that, make single space between each letters and triple spaces between each words. After doing that, hit the Apply to All option so that the rest of the text gets the same adjustment. Apply the same steps to the rest of the text. Once done, hit the Animation tab, and before adding any animation, manually increase the length of each text layer, both from the back and front, so that it gets a longer duration with the animation, making it look better. Now, you can add the appearance for In Animation, and then Linear W for Out Animation. Use my adjustments settings. After doing that, hit the Apply to All option. Check the adjustments of each of text layer to know where needs readjustment.
Once you're sure that animation looks perfect then, on the last text layer hit customize, change the font color to black, reduce its opacity to zero, and then scroll down to the outline option. Toggle it on, change the outline color to white, make its opacity 100 and thickness one. This would give us a perfect A-like text for this text layer. You can see what it looks. Now click save to exit the customization menu. Next step is to add keyframes at the start and end of the text in the text layers so that we can add zooms to each of the words. So you will hover to the start of each of the words, add a keyframe to it using the keyframe icon. Do the same to the end of the word. Also do the same to the rest of the words. Once done, on each of the second keyframe, which is at the end of the word, change its scale to 120. This would automatically make both X and Y 120. There, by adding zooms to the words. Next, right click on the text and select duplicate. This is the text we would be using to make our light shadow. So move this duplicated text layer below the original. Then double click on the layer and hover to customize. Scroll down to outline and change the color to black. Make the thickness 50, blur 10, and opacity any range from 40 to 60. After doing that, hit the apply to all option so that the rest of the text gets the adjustments. You can reduce the thickness a little depending on your choice. Here is what it looks like. The clip is lagging so bad, but I will show you the result in a second. By the way, remember to change the second text layer font color to black so that it doesn't interfere with the first text layer when they are been played. So here is what it looks like. Remember to use the link in description to try this AE like text on Filmora 14 and see how good your edits will turn out. I got us through it, right? Don't I always? I got us through it, right? Don't I always?